Scientists call it the immortal molecule. DNA, short for deoxyribonucleic acid, has a long history, dating back some four billion years. Back then, a simple one-celled creature carried its genes in short strands of DNA. The molecule and the creature had the ability to reproduce. Here's how. A DNA molecule has two strands. When they divide, two new strands are created. Combined strands of DNA are twisted ladders with rungs made of four chemical bases. The base adenine always pairs with thymine and guanine with cytosine. The sequences of these pairs determines the characteristics of every living cell. The DNA of our ancestor living billions of years back divided and replicated itself through time, becoming all manner of life, even us. Life has evolved with infinite variety because DNA has the capacity to change when it duplicates. What's new, very new, is our ability to manipulate DNA. Today, we can create clones, perfect genetic replicas of mammals from single cells. We can even move DNA from one animal to another, creating designer cows, like Rosie here, capable of producing human milk. Genetic manipulation offers great promise for people suffering from a variety of illnesses, including heart disease. Scientists have discovered that one gene, VEGF2, helps a body grow its own bypass and may one day make bypass surgery unnecessary. And like that one-celled ancestor, we've only just begun. By the year 2003, scientists will have mapped our entire DNA code identifying all of the estimated 80,000 genes that make us human. No telling what we can do with that information.